You can straighten it all the way out. What do you call that with his big toe? Nail fungus. Nail fungus? Mm-hmm. So that foot doesn't have athlete's foot. This foot does. Oh, does it? Yeah. And that's probably what's in his toenail. See this? these circles and the peeling? Mm -hmm. That's what that is. I've always had, you know, my little, between my little toe, if I ever get anything, it's always that foot. Yeah. Same spot. Yep, so I would um, either put, are those the only shoes that you wear? No, I've got three, four different ones. I would put all shoes that can go into the washer and dryer mm -hmm. and wash them to get rid of the fungus that's inside of them. Mm -hmm. Because when you start using the product to treat the bottom of your foot, uh, you don't wanna then put your foot back into a shoe that has the fungus on it you're just going to give it back to yourself. Try to wear shoes that have a little bit more ventilation. Alright, you can bend that. Um, he'll need the athlete's foot product from the same line. Do you have that here? Yeah. See, you're not perfect. I'm pretty good from the knee up. <laughs> How long ago did you have to have your knee replaced? So it was a year ago, March. Oh, wow. Just when surgeries. I don't know how they call knee replacements elective when they're so painful. Yeah. Well, it was a painful thing to do, but it was 100% worth it. Your feet itch? No, it's present. I mean, you know, every once in a while I'll have that tenactin or whatever it is stuff. I'll be straight on my feet all the time. You yell at me about. That's what I'm doing. That's why. No, and I've never raised my voice at you. Never. But no, I hadn't really bothered me. I thought it kind of looked like he had a stress fracture. In his toenail? Mm -hmm. All of that white color is stuff stuck underneath of his nail. All right, we have to do some digging. Yeah, and then as he uses the product, it'll reattach to the nail bed. So the shoes he can't treat, like his work boots. Then there's a product called Shoe and Sock Spray. It's an antifungal spray. I'll spray that in there a couple times a week.
or if the insoles will pull out, at least wash those or replace them. crazy how only like not all toenails get it like the pressure on that toe in whatever shoes that you're wearing is causing that I don't have to have a half dozen pair of shoes I wear off here and there and everywhere Turn your foot on the low. There you go. Um, they're all out in Shipshawana. Are they? Um, they all went a couple weeks. Well, the week that we had Colin's parents over, it was that day before they even went everywhere. They're all out. They said they can't keep them inside. But I'm telling you, hey dudes, everybody's wearing them. And Doug Wilson, have you heard of them? Mm -mm. Your toenail because the there's stuff underneath it that's pushing the toenail up. Did you know there are different types of nail fungus? I will give you a snippet here. There are mold fungus, yeast fungus, athlete's feet fungus, and dermatophyte fungus. And sometimes the nail can have more than one. I teach you all about it in my specialized pedicure course on my online nail academy. That module is included in the pedicure certification course or individually. And that training is about two hours in total. So there's a lot of information on it. 
So check out academy.themeticulousmanicurist.com. Did you say something was bubbling? Thus she said there's stuff growing underneath the nail, that's why it's crowning up, mm. putting pressure on it. So you don't get that out of there, it just keeps getting lifting your nail up more and more, right? Right. Just gets stuck and keeps growing. Doesn't she kind of remind you of Tanya, Greg's wife? A little bit? No. Yeah. You have one son? Two. Two sons? A 20 year old and a 17 year old. So if we are willing to let one go, we're in the market. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I want, we had one Our son, choice. We had one son and... Is that a scar? Yeah. Found myself on fire when I was six. Oh my goodness. Gasoline and matches, you know, nothing serious. Oh my gosh. Six year old. That was, the uh, bottom of the scar was the top of my shoe and this was the top of my knee at that. Wow. That just kind of exploded. He knew enough. He threw a bunch of dirt on it to put his own fire out. Yeah, I was in the garden. Oh my I just gosh. Jumped, I just jumped down the ground. I just rolled. Dirt. I just rolled it up like that. I had pants on. Oh wow. Yeah. My mother wasn't impressed. She comes screaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, one of my clients gave me a book when I had my oldest son. It was called Bringing Up Boys, How to Keep Your Children Alive Past the Age of 16. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Something okay, so simple me. that realize the importance of getting rid of it. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought it my toe did this. If my toe starts this, and I know to put the stuff on it, then it goes away, and then I'm fine for a long time. Yeah, but in the meantime, you were growing a third toe.
you ever found anything really cool, like any maggots or bugs or? <laughs> no. <laughs> really cool. Only a nurse would ask that. <laughs> This is true. Somebody brought us a rabbit. We rehab for the state. And somebody brought us this bunny this week. And you could tell the dog had it. And it back, back legs were bad. And the kids had it all put away to take care of it. Well, it died. And they had it in the box. And when we said, oh, it's, it's gone. 24 hours later, the entire rabbit was gone from maggots down to the bone. All that was there was fur and bone in 24 hours. They were hungry. Yeah, they have a rescue ranger um, type of camp. They have a lot of fawns, peacocks. Oh, wow. So what are we going to do? do? Just kind of keep trimming that back? Yep, you're going to put a product on it twice a day, one drop twice a day. And as it grows out, it'll reattach and grow out normal. Anything that stays um, detached, just keep trimming it back until it's all gone. So his is caused from athlete's feet, not fungus, right? There's different kinds of fungus. The fungus that causes athlete's feet is called, the short name for it is T. rubum. So that's the product. I just put it in a dropper bottle for convenience for me. And then the stuff I put on the bottom of your foot is the athlete's foot solution. And then you'll rub that on the bottom of your foot, just like lotion, and then wash your hands when you're finished because you can spread it. It can turn into jock itch or under your arms or anything like that. So don't rub it anywhere else. After you touch your foot, just uh, wash your hands. <laughs> 